Welcome back to the channel. Got another one for you. So this is my 1961 Cub Cadet Original. This is a very early tractor. It's a four digit. So it's 4903 is the serial number. So these are pretty simple and minimalistic tractors, but they are workhorses for sure. So I got this one last fall. I think it was maybe October. It was in decent looking shape, but not running, unfortunately. So I did a little series on getting this thing running and then deciding to paint it and make it how it is now. So I will include that link in the description to the playlist. So this tractor is a little different than the regular Cubs. It is a pull start. So instead of having a starter generator and a battery, you just have a pull start. So it has a magneto instead of a um, coil. So this tractor has pretty much all the correct original parts to it. The first being the narrow gap rims. So on regular wheels, you should be able to stick your fingers through here and you can't on these because they are narrow gap. The next thing that came later is the creeper hole on the frame there. And also there is a half moon on the dash tower, which would allow you to adjust the steering column somehow, like the tightness or something. The other thing is this shroud here is smooth. I believe they had some sort of ridge in there later on. And then also for this one being pull start, it obviously has the pull start on it. There's no starter pulley or starter generator. And also there's no hole in the dash for a, the starter button and no choke. As you would operate that right from the carburetor here since you're pulling it right there. During the painting process, I added a rear three point to it and also an Extreme Motorworks Brindley garden cart for the front. Other than that, there's not a ton of options you can put on it. Since it doesn't have a battery or charging system, you really can't do headlights. And you could put a creeper in it, but that would kind of ruin part of the like originality to it. So it's another limiting factor there. So plans for this thing, I have a set of round fenders that will be getting painted and put on it at some point in the future. And I also need to do front bushings on the wheels, they're a little sloppy. But other than that, it's a good runner. If you did watch the video where I was painting it, I did mention that this was just a quick repaint and refresh. It wasn't a restoration, so somewhere down the road, I don't know when, but... I would like to tear this thing fully apart, sandblast everything down to bare metal, and paint it the true correct uh, Cub Cadet yellow and IH white. So that's, like I said, down the road sometime, but for now it looks real good and I'm happy to use it. So enough said, let's fire this thing up, take it for a ride. It's a pretty cool one. So to start it, you wanna make sure you're neutral. Probably wasn't the best to do this on a hill, but next you give a little choke. And grab a pull rope. And away she goes. Start her off in first here just to get up this little hill. I guess we'll go right in for third gear.
So there she is. Pretty cool little machine. I enjoy driving it. It's nostalgic. Never thought I'd own an original. Never thought they were incredibly useful, which it's really not, but it's, it's like the cool factor, really. But this one came up for sale and seemed neat, so I bought it and turned out I like it. It's pretty cool the how simple they are and the pan seat, just a cool feel. So definitely a keeper. So that's all I got for this one. Definitely be seeing this in future videos. I will be doing the spring startup video soon. So keep an eye out for that one. Got a lot of interest last year, so I'll be doing that again. I should have about 15 machines running this year. So definitely size up from last year. So if you enjoyed this quick little video on the original, give it a thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything and just takes a second of your time. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one.